everyone. Welcome back for a little TLC. So October is Pastors Appreciation Month and I am very, very excited about some content I have coming up regarding pastors and ministers in general. But before I could get to that, there's something that I needed to address that's going on in the body right now. Um, so a couple weeks ago, it might have even been last week, fairly recently, Maverick City Music put up a post regarding them pausing their uh, professional relationship with Dante Bo because of some inconsistent behaviors he's had that don't line up with their core beliefs. And there are like a million bajillion posts <laughs> um, on this. There are lots of videos, there's lots of content on it. And so I don't want to spend too much time talking about the post itself because I, I tend to agree with what people are saying about the post because it just didn't it didn't need to be posted necessarily um yeah they could have paused the professional relationship without posting anything um and and then posting something really kind of gave me the pharisees bringing the adultery the adulterous woman to jesus or the woman caught in adultery to jesus and so you know that's just not cool but i do want to talk about some of the responses to the post um, some comments that I've seen or comments that I have read where people are saying things like uh, Maverick City Music has not extended any grace to Dante Bo and saying it, it's kind of like that that same only God can judge him type of rhetoric. And so I wanted to spend this video talking about grace, what it means to extend grace to somebody, what grace is overall. Um, so that we can get a better understanding of what that is and how it should apply to our interactions with other believers. So grace in and of itself is unmerited favor. It's getting something that we don't deserve, a life, a connection to God um, that is free from condemnation. Grace is not getting to do whatever you want. Grace is not living in your truth and having no consequences. Grace is not being free from all judgment and just living in whatever makes you feel good. <laughs> like that is not what grace is. Having grace, receiving grace from the Lord should increase our desire to live lives that are pleasing and acceptable to the Lord. Okay. If we are not living in ways that even seem like we're trying to, to live according to God's commands, we need to be sat down. If we're just out here wilding, we need to be sat down, okay? In the Bible, uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, the Apostle Paul tells a story about a man who said that he was a Christian, but he was bragging about how he was committing incest. And so the Apostle Paul told them, told the, the church at Corinth, it is not good that this man is bragging. This man's bragging is not good. And y'all need to put him out of the church um, before he ruins everybody else. Like this man was not even trying to live according to the scripture. He was bragging about his sin. And so we as the, the body of Christ do have the ability to sit people down and to call other people out on their inconsistent behavior. This is not saying that we should be perfect or that nobody falls short. We know that all fall short, um, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But if you're not even trying, if you're bragging about your sin, then you need to be sat down. That is totally inconsistent. Those who love the Lord keep his commands. And so we have to be living or trying to live in a way that is set apart. And if we're not doing that, if we're just out here wilding and doing whatever, then really it is an act of love for people to call us out and to to try to get us back in line um, so that we can be living according to how God wants us to live. I personally believe that your relationship with God and your repentance and living submitted to God is more important than us just using gifts and allowing people to, to really live any old type of way. We must be submit it to God. And if we're not willing to do that, then we need to sit down, sit your own self down. <laughs> like, just, everybody sit down. Um, if you're not even trying to live in a way that is pleasing to God. I know I mentioned at the very beginning how um, the post itself kind of reminded me of the Pharisees bringing the woman caught in adultery to Jesus. And so I just want to hit on that a little bit um, because people love to talk about how Jesus 
uh, said, you, I, I don't condemn you to the woman. But it's important for us to remember that Jesus also said, go and sin no more. I think that's in John. I don't know. I put the scripture in. I'll put the scripture in here somewhere in John. Okay, so the correct scripture is John chapter 8 verses 1 through 11. But Jesus also told the woman, go and sin no more. So yes, there is no condemnation in Christ, but that doesn't mean that you just get to wild out. You're not supposed to just live in your sin when you say that you are following Jesus. Grace is offered with the expectation that we are going to repent and turn away from the thing that was not pleasing and acceptable to God. I really just wanted to clear that up. Um, being gracious, loving our neighbor, showing mercy to others does not mean that we're just putting up with any and every, any and everything. Um, we do need to correct in gentleness and all of that, but we must correct. Correction is an essential part of growth. And sometimes correction does mean that you're getting sat down, that you're getting put out, um, especially if you're not going to be living in a way that's pleasing to God. If you're just going to be out here bragging about your sin and living in total disobedience, the hope is that when you are sat down or when you are put out, that that will cause you to want to, you know, get some things together, <laughs> just get some things together. God is a gracious God, but God also cares about his reputation. God desires for us to be with him, but that requires for us to repent. And really, the more that I think about it, um, being sat down is a easier way of showing grace um, or allowing somebody to get themselves together. Because back in the Bible days, People were getting struck down. Like God was just straight up murking folks um, who stepped into his presence any old type of way. So really, it again is an act of love to be corrected and to be sat down if we're just going to be living in total and complete disobedience. Okay, y'all, grace is not anything goes. I don't want us to take grace for granted. And that's really what I wanted to talk about today. I do ask that you all be praying for Maverick City Music, pray for Dante Bowen, also pray for for all, all believers, especially those who are in church leadership and spiritual leadership. I know this technically is not a part of the um, pastoral series, but sitting people down is something that pastors have to do if people are not going to be acting right. And so pray for spiritual leaders. Um, that they will have the strength to be able to do things like this, sitting people down in gentleness um, when it is necessary. And also pray for all believers that we will have a heart and a mind to not make the jobs of our pastors so difficult where they have to keep making these decisions because we don't want to act right. Okay, um, that's all I have for this week. I hope that y'all um, enjoyed this. I hope that you learned something. I hope that it is helpful to you as you continue to navigate this thing called life. Um, I'll see you all next week. Get very, very excited about this Pastors Appreciation Series, and I'll see you next time for a little TLC. Bye-bye.